electronic gas detection technologies have made minute and insignificant gas concentrations quickly and easily detectable. However, detection of minute amounts of gas, which are well below the maximum limits specified in safety standards, can create confusion for customers and service technicians while creating unnecessary rework and replacement costs for control and appliance manufacturers. The Gas Appliance Manufacturers Association, or GAMA, is taking this opportunity to discuss and clarify common misunderstandings related to this situation. This program will outline the gas industry's safety standards regarding allowable leakage rates for gas controls. The appliance manufacturers required testing of controls and appliances. The use of gas detection devices, commonly called leak detectors, and leak detection demonstrations on various appliances and controls. Let's begin with the gas industry's definition of maximum allowable gas leakage rate. Nationally recognized safety standards to which residential gas controls are designed and built specify a maximum allowable leakage rate. This allowable leakage rate is equivalent to 6 BTUs per hour of natural gas and 12 BTUs per hour of propane gas flowing at water column pressures of 7 inches for natural gas and 11 inches for propane. These values correlate to a maximum of 235 cubic centimeters per hour, measured at one and one half times the rated pressure of the gas control. Remember, these values are maximum values. Every gas control and appliance is manufactured to exacting standards and tested for leakage before shipment. Service technicians must evaluate gas leakage appropriately. To do this, they must take the following approach before identifying the gas control or appliance as the source of an unacceptable leak. The technician must be aware of the detector's sensitivity and determine if other chemicals or household agents to which the detector may respond are present. Remember, Pipe joint compound and many household cleaners are easily and commonly detected with sophisticated gas detectors. Make sure the detector is properly calibrated and zeroed according to the manufacturer's instructions. Use the detector to find the location where gas may be present by using a regularly calibrated and properly maintained detector according to the manufacturer's instructions. In those areas where the detector indicates the gas may be present, the technician must verify that an actual leak is present and that it is not a residual concentration of gas or other substance that may be sensed by the gas detector. Use a leak testing solution, flow meter, or other acceptable verification means to determine whether an unacceptable leak is present. According to national standards, 235 cubic centimeters of gas per hour represents the maximum allowable leakage rate for a control. Gas detectors are so sensitive that they can detect gas in amounts far below this allowable limit. Now let's perform a practical demonstration to show how small the maximum allowable leakage really is. The pilot burner on this gas range will normally burn approximately 175 BTUs per hour of natural gas or approximately 5,000 cubic centimeters per hour. Let's slowly reduce the gas supply to the pilot burner just to the point where the flame becomes extinguished. Although gas continues to flow at a very low rate, it is not enough to support a flame. Note. The gas flowing from this pilot burner exceeds the maximum allowable control leakage rate, which is equivalent to 6 BTUs per hour of natural gas and 12 BTUs per hour of propane gas. 
Because of the sensitivity of the gas detector, a very small concentration of gas can easily be detected. Remember also that an actual gas leak may not be present even though the detector responds. Residual gas concentrations from the on-off cycle of appliance burners may be detectable but are normal and safe. These residual gas concentrations will dissipate in the space around or near the appliance. This residual concentration or trace is sometimes noticeable to occupants who then become concerned about its source. When service technicians are faced with a suspected gas leak, they must not only be able to find where the gas may be coming from, but they must also be able to determine that in fact a leak exists. The sensitive gas detector is not designed to determine unacceptable or hazardous leakage rates. Any indication of the presence of gas by an electronic gas detector must be further verified by the use of a soap solution detection method or other acceptable means in accordance with the nationally recognized fuel gas codes. An electronic gas detector is not a measurement device for gas flow. Service technicians must be aware of the effects of their conclusions. Remember, manufacturers of controls and appliances are required to leak check products before they leave the factory. Make sure your electronic detection equipment is properly calibrated and used according to manufacturer's instructions. Electronic gas detectors measure in parts per million and can detect other hydrocarbon-based substances such as common household products. Electronic gas detectors do not measure gas flow, but they measure gas concentration. After detecting a gas concentration, you must be able to verify the leak using acceptable methods such as leak test solution. Using electronic gas detectors with an appropriate leak detection method will provide the best service to your customer. The technology that makes your job easier only does so if you use it properly.